What's the most commonly injured muscle group in the gym that could easily be prevented? Shoulders. So what is my recommendation to prevent shoulder injuries? It's a crazy one. Don't train them. Before we go any further, we have to have a quick understanding of shoulders and why they're so sensitive. It's one of the only multi-fibered muscle groups in the body, basically meaning it's a spindle of strings. And when you're doing any sort of shoulder work, you are pulling on strings. And yes, that's as it sounds, very sensitive. When you're on any sort of weights training program that involves a push-pull, people don't realize this, but your front delt and rear delt, aka shoulders, are working in any of those movements. Let me show you an example on the cables here of how your front delt at certain movements of your chest fly are the actual main mover. So it's called chest fly, but a lot of people don't realize that at certain points of this movement, your front delt, aka shoulder, is the main mover. Example, from here to here, this range right here, it's safe to say your chest is the main mover. But certainly from here to here, it's undoubtedly, from here to here, undoubtedly, your front delt doing 90% of that movement. So you are, when you're doing bench press, chest fly, you are killing your front delts. The tragic part is somebody will do chest, absolutely break down their front delt, then the next day do shoulders. You are crying for a surgeon. Now that I've shown you how your front delt is oftentimes the main mover on any press, cable, let me show you how your rear delt's working on any sort of pull. We've got a little band action here. We're just gonna do a little simple row. Almost the entirety, our rear delt is working. Almost the entirety of this motion is rear delt, AKA rear shoulder. I know what you're thinking. You're like, screw this guy. I am doing shoulders. Let me give you a little advice if you're gonna do shoulders medial so we're working that front delt with the press we're working that rear delt with the pull so some lateral raises some light overhead press go light please um, and hit that medial line and that'll be a sufficient shoulder workout for you remember that's strings here so the amount of growth in that muscle it's going to come from your chest workouts and your back workouts i hope this video has helped you and possibly prevented you from hurting those shoulders if you like this video, follow us on all social media. If you're in the KC area, come to Dog Pound KC, get a free team training trial, get a free workout in. Thank you guys.